Hi, it's Prime Azadi. I'm an independent mortgage broker and I've set up this channel to talk about mortgages. Right, uh, another uh, topic that it's, it's get, I'm getting more and more uh, questions around is uh, furlough and coming back from furlough. Right, so basically, thankfully, we seem to be at the back end of this pandemic. Uh, although, you know, uh, I've, I've been very uh, sort of pessimistic about the whole thing here and hopefully with these variants we're not going to get go back into lockdown but uh, the good news is a lot of people are coming back off furlough and now are thinking you know I want to buy that property they've been putting things on hold whether it's refinancing property or whether they want to purchase on new properties now because they were furlough they couldn't basically the lenders will not take their income and um, the first initial furlough lenders were taking up to 80 percent of the income but the second and the third furloughs a lot of the lenders stopped taking the income. Um, and to be honest with you, even if they did, I don't think it's a good idea to, when you're off work to be um, taking out lots more mortgages. So um, I think uh, that's quite sensible if the, for those people who have waited. So now they've waited, they may have started work or might be going back into work and want to find out what are the options. Generally, the rule is, look, you need to be back at work and they want to see at least one month's pay slip. Now, some could uh, except on, on a letter to say you're back at work, but I would say most of them will wait for your one month's pay slip. Once you've had your pay slip in full, then I think they will um, look to lend. Um, and that could be high street, non-high street. So that's really the rule around furloughs. They will also want to check on applications if there's been any loans, any grants, anything else. Certainly from the self-employed aspects, uh, a lot of those people have obviously taken out bounce back loans. They've taken various grants. All of those needs to be disclosed. As some of them is worth double checking. Some of them have to be declared on your tax returns that you've taken those. Um, so a lot of people are thinking, well, I'll, you know, if I'm taking money off the government, surely the government knows I've had the money. Well, you still have to put that in your tax return. So it's, it's vital you speak to your tax advisor on that. Um, but things are opening up. Lenders are lending. If you're back at work now, um, you know, we can start those dialogues now. We can have these conversations and try to see what we can get you. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we're at the end of it and hopefully we might be able to be uh, of assistance to you. If we are, get in touch with me. My links are in the descriptions and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.